think that we were uh, fairly being issued our freedoms. So as we had the opportunity to have some of those and take advantage of it, we didn't really take advantage of it collectively as a group, so we kind of mismanaged it in some respects. But the freedoms were, were accomplished in some respects as well. I'm going to uh, refrain from saying I agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> but what I will say is that we don't need white people for anything. You know, there, when this day is done, there are going to be a lot of folks who don't even understand how to survive. If all of these things that we have right now, the lights is gone, the hot water is gone, you are not going to know what you need to do. And I believe that we are being duped by the system and we are not learning universal laws. We are not learning um, the importance of uh, how to be prepared and survive without some of the things that we have. We're looking to say, oh, you know, what we really need is wealth. There will come a day, I believe, where wealth will get you nothing. You know, and your knowledge and your ability to think and understand people and how they think and how they respond to things is really what it's going to come down to. And yes, if we have gold and things, we need to, I, I believe we need to educate ourselves on what real value is. And that's something that, like I said, we're not being taught in school. So, like I said, I won't say I agree to disagree, but I will just say I understand and, you know, let my statement stand as true for me. Freedom for me is just being able to be where I want to be, when I want to be, how I want to be, if I want to be, do what I want, when I want, how I want. Um, I see like the penal system as what freedom is not. Um, and for um, maybe a great part of it too, even the way we're living day to day. So I don't think we're at perfect freedom right now, but if I had to define what freedom would be for me, it would be that. Um, I guess I have um, also, I've, I've lived here in Connecticut for about 50 years, roughly. Before then, I lived in England, so I saw um, how people were treated there, people of color. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about having your own language and not having your own language or having your culture or not having your culture, and coming here and I see, there was, there was a difference, but I still see a lot of the same. Um, and also from my family being from the islands and living there, I was spending a lot of time there. So um, I think, as you, you said, black people were here already, but they were everywhere. Exactly. Um, and when you say, a language, we've all adapted languages along the way because there are black people in Latino or Hispanic speaking countries, so they're there. Um, if you look at the Chinese, you'll see that the original originals there were also people from Africa or black people. So we're all of it, we're all of it. And the, lang the way language is developed and all of that, I just think we're all of it. Um, and we should not restrict ourselves to say, well, they have that culture. That just so happens to be the way they were raised in that part of the world. Um, I don't think it comes down to a race, even though that's what we've been fed. It's like, well, the Chinese do this, and the Indians do that, and so forth and so on, but it's all of us. It's just where you so happen to be um, in the universe. So again, for me, it's being able to 
speak the way I want to, if I want to speak Spanish, French, English, whatever, just being able to do what I want, where I want, how I want, whether it's the educational system, you know, going to the high schools that are in public education or not, just doing it because I want to do it and not because someone says that's the way it should be done or how it should be done. Anybody else? <clears throat> I um, just want to add one thing about freedom, and I just sent you the, the link on it. I, we'll send it to everybody else, but the link that I sent um, was a video of a young boy on an island. I don't know what island it was, but in the video, he gets up, he picks a coconut off the tree, he opens the coconut, with his bare skilled hands on how they know how to open up coconuts, which I don't know how to do that. So I'm watching this. And then he has his food from the tree. After he eats his fresh fruit from the tree, he uses the coconut as a trap for fish. Then he gets twigs from the tree, catches the worms, put them in the coconut and then solders the coconut back together and drops it in the water and goes about his day. And then he comes back and there's a bunch of fish that gravitated into the worms, into the coconut. And I'm watching this and I'm like, he ain't gotta go to work. <laughs> he got food on the tree. He know how to put stuff together and build stuff with his own. To me, that was like, I wanna go there. Like, because the food, the clothing, I mean, they were what we would consider not matching, but he was happy. He was happy and free. And we just, I feel, been given a false description and definition on what freedom is. You know, so I just, I shared that link with Alfonso. He has everyone's information if he wants to share it with you guys. But that let video I just sent is what freedom looks like to me. Can you pass that? Make sure everybody put their name on it, the email address. Who, who, if, if somebody didn't. Anybody else want to address freedom? Because of course I have a perspective on freedom. Um, I I look at my understanding of freedom as like this a universal understanding of freedom. So I don't believe that we can go anywhere in the universe and just do what we want when we want, how we feel like it. Like, if you go out into outer space and you ain't got no oxygen or you take that helmet off, you just can't take it off because you feel like it. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's no place that we can exist where we can just do what we want anytime we feel like it when we want. But Everywhere we exist, we can assess how that reality works and functions, just like the guy you just talked about did. Assess how, how everything works. And then based on our assessment, decide what we want from it. That's very important, because if we don't know what we want, then the only thing we can do is be servants to somebody else's needs and desires. That's it. No matter what environment we're in. So we assess the reality, we develop an understanding of how it works, the best way we know how, no matter what that reality is, we decide what we want, and then we figure out how to make that reality serve our best interests. To me, that's the foundation for freedom. Because a person can be in prison and confined in a cell 23 hours a day and can be free. He can assess that reality of that environment here. The key word is reality. You can't be in denial about the reality. Every day on Facebook, black people are making comparisons. She only got 10 years. He got 48 years for killing a dog. We. They got this, we got that. They got this, we got that. This is how this country has always been. The, the comparisons are a 
confirmation of denial. When you operate in any reality from a place of denial, you set yourself up to constantly be hurt.